When I was shopping at Target, I seen some track builder items on clearance. I didn't know if that meant that track builder's over or are they making room for new merchandise. Toys R Us provided the answer. Check it out. Track builder total turbo takeover. I picked up the set for $39.99 at Toys R Us. It might be available at other stores as well. I don't see anything to say Toys R Us exclusive. This combo set has some items that have been released before. There you have the Triple Blast Alley. Over here this loop that looks like the Quick Kick Loop. This is what's new right here. Two directional motorized booster. I'm not sure if this part is new or not. And the curves are a new color. I don't know if these are the same curves. Or are they going to be special just for this two directional motorized booster? These are the types of products that I like to where you can take the parts and you can make whatever layout you want. It's not just one way. The back of the box shows just that. You can take the parts and make huge layouts with whatever you have or what little you have. On the back it shows some of the other items. Maybe you have them, maybe you don't. I'm looking to see if anything's new. Hmm, stunt barrel. I don't know if I have that. Cannon blaster? I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the box, see what we got. The box says, Hot Wheels car included. I got high voltage, the one that's in the box. It's actually from the Track Builder 5-pack, except that one had blue wheels. My box set had one with silver wheels. Let me know what free car you got in your box set. There's only a few stickers that you need to put on, or you don't need to. You can if you want. Some roadway stripes. This one, the Hot Wheels. Now there's two loops, so both of them get the Hot Wheels sticker, but only for one side. The set uses 4C batteries, not the usual D size. And yes, the U-turn curve is the size of the two-directional motorized booster, much smaller and tighter than the regular track builder curves. I'll make a separate video talking about how to put together the quick kick loop. This piece right here just slides right in, you push it down, you see these notches, you want to make sure that when you bring it down, make sure it's in like that, and that's how it gets caught in the device car is going to come by and point this part here this I, this is new i think i don't remember that's why i want to talk about this because when it's in the setup it might be like this and you won't see the back so we're going to talk about the back this is pretty cool this is where your boulders are going to sit right now it's there let's go ahead and back this up there's the holder when the car comes through it's going to hit oh can i get somebody to help me with the boulder okay you're not the car you're not the red car wrong red car hold on excuse me you're gonna slide them through. There you go. Causes it to come down. Now let's say you have three lined up, three separate cars. Oops. Let's go a little faster. One, come back. Two, come back. Three. Or if you want all three to come down on one pass, let's see. You take this, move this here. Let me see. Is that how I do it? There you go. So levers in the front position, but the stopper's down. Reset. Three boulders. All three go down. Forward position, all three come down. Let's reset. Now this time we want stop and go. This time with stop and go, the, the way it stops the boulders from going is this is gonna pop up, watch. Boink, boink, boink. This will stop the next boulder. Let's see. Ready? Pretty nifty. All right, let's get set up. Pull back our launcher. I'm going back two spots. Activate the quick kick. Both of them. And then move the switch sideways. It's gonna be noisy. Set, go! I moved the switch. Now I want to release one boulder at a time. I'm going to use more cars. The 2014 Track Aces 5-Pack. That's Lotus Concept, Golden Arrow, Super Nat, Flathead Fury, and see you later. No, really, that's his name. 
See you later. All ready to go. First up, Lotus Concept. Golden Arrow. Supernat. Uh oh. Next. Flathead Fury. Uh oh. Last up. See you later. Hey, what's Supernat doing standing over there? Oh, triple wipeout. Here we go, high voltage, back up in the batter's box. High voltage, saves the day. As you can see, the motorized booster has got a switch that goes two ways. It goes this way, and it goes that way. When you put it this way, the car goes around. What happens if you put it that way? Point, 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 point. Now we're going to do the second layout on the box. That layout right there would end. It's about 80 inches long, a little U-turn. But I'm going to add some of my track builder's track to bring it back to the start. Before I forget, it includes this piece here with a nice little lane changer. It's the same size as your curves that you already have. So this would be nice to have for your drive around layouts where you just drive around with your cars. I'm not sure how well this would do with the boosters. I'm gonna save that for another day. The set came with one launcher, but I added one from another set so I can have my head to head race. Put the switch this way. Here we go. Supernat! Now it's Lotus Concept again. See you later. Lotus Concept wins as See You Later wipes out in the loop. Flathead Fury versus High Voltage. High Voltage it is. Hey, we have three. How are we supposed to do head to head racing? I need somebody to make it even. Redbird? Okay. Redbird versus high voltage. Redbird wipes out. High voltage advances. Now we have Supernat against Lotus Concept. Supernat in the back, Lotus Concept up front. Oh, I forgot to reset. It's close. Supernat. I reset the loops. Super Nat in yellow. High voltage in red. High voltage took it, but it was pretty close. The box and the instructions have multiple layouts. I did the first two for you today. You can do the others when you set it up. I wanted to try something different, so I made my own custom layout. Look, it's a little racing circuit. Where they just go round and round as if they're racing around a NASCAR track. Let's check it out. In case you want to make this layout yourself, I used two small pieces. Then I connected two medium pieces. And then two long pieces of track. Then, of course, you got the booster. And then on the other side, I did long, medium, and small. One last thing that I'm going to do to help the car stay in the curves. I put a little something underneath the curves. You can put a book or something. I just put some Hot Wheels 5 packs. I lifted up the curves a little bit. And this way when the cars come flying out of the boosters, the track's lifted up so that it helps catch the cars. Let's get them on the track. Here we go. Woo, look at him fly. 
Super Nat, help him out. Uh oh, Super Nat fell out. Golden Arrow. Ow! Got four going. Woohoo! Five. Hey, see you later. What are you doing? Hey, flip back over. Now he's upside down again. Make up your mind. Which way are you going to race? Hey, wake up. Wake up. He flipped back over again. Okay, folks. I hope you enjoyed the review. Give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. Have fun with your toys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.